So this is how we usually do a virtual dissection anatomy class. And Dr. Thomas Sika now acting as a student. All our tasks are designed based on clinical cases to be solved by a pair of students. And uh, we ask the students to use their anatomical knowledge to solve some clinical problems. The whole experience is an immersive experience adapting uh, clinical cases using virtual reality for the student to safely uh, perform a procedure that usually will be quite damaging to the real body or to the cadaver. So shall we get started? In this specific case uh, is for the student to safely insert a uh, thoracic catheter, which to solve pneumothorax. Um, this specific uh, procedure um, requires the student to know clearly about the arrangement of the thorax abdominal cavity and where to safely put the catheter insert into uh, the pleural cavity in the safety triangle. Shall we try to find uh, the fifth intercostal space at the mid clavicular line? On the right or the left? So on the right side, because liver usually, yeah, liver is on the right One, side. Two, three, three. four. So five. we're currently demonstrating how to perform this. So shall we put a label, a needle, at the fifth intercostal space using 3D label? Yeah, probably label it one. And uh, let's just uh, do it there. Shall we put a label? in probably mid axillary uh, line and put it on the, uh, in the uh, seventh intercostal space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Seven intercostal space. And uh, put another one on the right side, probably at the mid axillary line on the right side. Right, so let's go to the table down there. If you can look, yeah, so there's a table of content. Yeah, can you bring out the uh, elementary gland? Elementary gland. Okay, so that will put up the liver there. So now we can see if whether our label may actually penetrate through important structures. Shall I remove this one here? Yeah, let's remove it. So now we currently bring up all the digestive glands. And the important uh, thing for insert uh, the uh, chest catheter is we should not damage other important organs. In this case, one of the uh, very lethal complications is actually to insert the catheter into, instead of the pleural cavity, but through the diaphragm into the abdominal cavity and then puncture the liver. And this will ca uh, cause uh, internal bleeding. So we already put the liver on. Let's see which label penetrate through the liver, which didn't. And then we can find out which one is actually uh, the one, the safe position uh, to insert the chest catheter. So let's remove the diaphragm. It goes, okay. Yeah, so the liver is currently here, I think. Nothing will happen to, to number two. Uh, but then the number two, because it's on the left side and it's too low, so uh, it won't go into the uh, pleural cavity. This and it will probably puncture into, uh, it will probably puncture into the, uh, uh, the guts, the intestinal uh, tract. Uh, the number one is too anterior. As we can see that um, on the fifth intercostal anteriorly, uh, you still have a very serious danger uh, in puncturing through the diaphragm into the liver. Uh, and uh, I think the only the label number three at the fifth uh, intercostal space or fourth intercostal space at mid axillary uh, line, that is the safe place uh, to puncture through the chest wall and then insert your catheter into the pleural cavity to drain the excessive fluid or air uh, to save the patient from suffocating. Yeah, this is the only one. Yeah. Safe. So if you were to bring on the skin and you will see that level is probably at, at the level of nipple. So um, the student, uh, by studying with virtual reality, they will learn about internal organs as well as the surface anatomy of the body. And this is a, a very brief demonstration how we run a real uh, virtual reality anatomy class. And this is the end of the demonstration. Thank you very much, Tom, uh, for playing uh, with the virtual reality anatomy. My pleasure. <laughs>